it was definitely a struggle at the beginning because I was on the outside of the house and numbers were on my side. But the question, but the came down to instead of giving up, I found a way to turn the house around. I found a way to get the numbers on my side, and with because of drama on the inside, because we were the nice guys were on the outside, a lot of them, I was able to turn the house around. I kept fighting through, and I was able to get my way to the end because I never gave up. Okay, and what again did you think about? Um the support that you got from back home and, and that maybe how that compared to what you heard from some of the other contestants. Oh, the support I got back home was absolutely amazing because, again, we're in sequester, so I have no idea what people are thinking or feeling or saying. And to walk home to such support from the North Country was absolutely amazing. I got a police escort into town. I heard there was Stephen Moses Day here in Governor. There was the fire escort. There was so much cool stuff going on, and it was amazing to see so much support because I know a lot of the other contestants who are from bigger cities like Liz and Vanessa being from Vegas and Miami. Um, I don't think they got the same support that I did coming home. I just think it's so cool that I got all this. I'm really, really thankful for all the love and support I've gotten from the North Country. Okay. And how do you think that show helped you personally grow, Steve, and change because i think you know in high school and college i had never really focused so much on people skills i was always very academically focused or whatever else i was doing but for three months my job was to be social with these people figure out how to get along with them how to how to make them like me and i think in having such an intense focus on my social skills and always thinking about okay what am i doing well what am i not doing well how can i become better my social skills and my comfort with other people really went through the roof just because i got to focus on just that for such a long time have you played your trombone since you were home? I haven't. I haven't even looked at it yet. <laughs> oh, did you miss playing it? I did. I, it, it wasn't on my mind that much. My head was definitely, oh, I was in game mode constantly, but it's definitely nice to be back in the real world and have, you know, real world things again. What did you miss the most? Having support from people around me because when you're, anything you're doing in life, you have your family, you have friends, you always have people you can turn to. But when you're in the house, even your closest friends and allies are people you eventually want to lose the game. So it's hard when the only people you're interacting with day in and day out are people who ultimately want you to fail. And in one of my favorite things is seeing my family again, seeing friends again, and people who are actually happy I won. Because no one else I interacted with for three months wanted me to win. So it's now cool to, like, to have the support finally. Yeah. And did you miss your cell phone and some of that? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I miss everything about the real world. You know, because in the house, there's nothing but game. There's no cell phones. There's no TV. There's no internet. There's no music. There's no news. I found out about Donald Trump and the gay marriage law about three days ago. Um, so it's just really nice to, you know, have feel like a normal human being again and not get all that little prison in the parking lot. <laughs>